believe to see any of those or not. I actually just got off the phone earlier with someone back here that hung up on me. So you're not recording, figured, are you? Yeah. You're not supposed. To, you can't record us in here. Okay. Well, I am. We're back. Hi. Uh, she has informed me that you're recording. Mm -hmm. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. So we do have to ask you to stop recording just because you could potentially pick up other transactions. Can you record me all you want. Yes, and I will. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I want to know who you are. Okay. Well, I want to know who you are. And uh, you're not allowed. You have a name. To, you're not allowed to record. You have a name. I do have a name. What is it? Just like you. What is it? So, so what's your name, sir? Sergeant Patterson. Patterson. Did you get your business done with the no, state? No, I don't. I'm still still working on it. Okay. But he yeah. put his phone down to do that. I don't need to, and you know that. Yeah, I do know yeah. that. But he, he you can't touch him, him, man. Hey, what's going on, everyone? Welcome back to my channel, San Joaquin Jr. On this channel, we discuss your constitutional rights and also go over videos of cop watches and First Amendment audits. Today's video is from the channel Mr. Austin. This video takes place in Jefferson, Missouri, and then involves the Jefferson Police Department. Now, to give a bit of backstory, this quote-unquote auditor is a former police officer and is no longer working under the banner of law enforcement. This man had just purchased some boat motors recently, and state law requires that he gets them registered to the Department of Revenue. He attempts to do this over the phone, but he gets met with unprofessionalism and eventually gets hung up on by the public servant. That's when he decides to resolve the issue in person. He goes into the Department of Revenue with his phone recording, and let's just say things get crazy. Without taking up any more of your time, I'm going to play the video and break a few things down. Well, obviously, they can't register a title without the title. Obviously, also, if they had them, I'd just get them from then. I've, I've, I've been in contact with them, and like I said, they're, they don't exist anymore. Yeah, no problem. Appreciate it. On them before. Like if you did it, and that's fine, but either way, the situation it doesn't change to the Missouri statute. What's the statute so again? This is how it has to go. What's the statute? I'm happy to look it up and see like it, but what I am going to say is I'm not going to sit here and tell you what I've told you. No, I'm just, I'm just, just trying to get information. I'm, I'm just trying to get information. I'm just trying to get information. May I get information from you, please? Well, no, you just told me you're not going to discuss it with me. That's actually what you just said. I'm not going to discuss this with you. Well, that's what I need. I need information. I need to have a discussion on on why I'm being denied and how I go. All right. No, you didn't because I'm still waiting for the RISMO number. Give me the Give me the statute. Okay, give them all to me. Well, no, okay, I, I'll take you at your word that you told me. I'm telling you, I must have misheard you or forgot. So can you please repeat it to me one more time? So just, so just, just for the fun of it, you're not gonna, you're not gonna answer my. That's me. Hello. Hi. Um, trying to get a uh, an outboard um, title. Okay. Take a look at the paperwork you've got. All right. So. Um, it's actually been applied for. Okay. Um, so you guys have the 798s, okay. right? They've never been registered or titled in the state of Missouri before. Okay. Period. May I take um, so yeah, here's the here's the yeah. That's just I don't know what you need exactly, but um, those are just the registration receipts. There's a total of eight of them. 
all motors? Yes. So I got. You haven't received any of them. Correct. correct. No, I have okay. not received any of them. No. Um, I, I got these letters in the mail. I've been dealing with this for almost two months. Okay. So I don't know if you need to see any of those or not. I actually just got off the phone earlier with someone back here that hung up on me. So You're not figured, recording, are you? Yeah. You're not supposed to. You can't record us in here. Okay. Well, I am. I'll be right back. Back. Hi. Uh, she's informed me that you're recording. Mm -hmm. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. So we do have to ask you to stop recording just because you could potentially pick up other transactions and that would put other customers' personal information. That's your responsibility to stop that from happening, not mine. I'm in public, public property and public view, and that's all open to public observation, obviously. Okay. We do have to ask you to stop. Okay. You can ask. <laughs> Okay. Well, I, I'm sorry. I'm not trying to be mean to you, no, but that's fine. a it's a misunderstanding. I'm just trying to get my I'm just trying to get my okay. my business done. You know, okay. it's the, the reason I'm recording is because I'm I have to provide some kind of accountability. Unfortunately, because of my experience with DOR in the past is why is part of the reason I'm doing this. Okay. She doesn't feel comfortable hey, with that's cool. Recorded. She can go wherever she wants. Yeah, that's and that's cool. You are potentially right. going to have a people at risk. Um, but she will get you taken care of. All right, appreciate it. You can record me all you want. Yes, and I will. Yeah, mm -hmm. um, but I, I want to know who you are. Okay, well, I want to know who you are. And uh, you're not allowed you have a name? To, you're not allowed to record. You have a name? I do have a name. What is it? Just like you. What is it? So. Meet Lester Elder. He is the chief of the Department of Revenue's Criminal Investigations Bureau. And the only reason I know this is from the probable cause statement that I received after the fact, because as you'll see in the video, he refused to identify himself by name, rank, title, or otherwise. You're not going to tell me? I'm not going to tell you. So you can put me on YouTube and you can do whatever you want, but you do need to leave with your camera. Going. No, I don't. You will, or we're going to have the Capitol Police come arrest you for trespassing. Bring him. Okay. Bring him. We'll get a hold of him. Real quick. Sure, sounds good. You don't have a name or a badge number or anything? I, I, I know. I You're not going to give it to me? Yeah, you can step outside and talk about it. No, we can talk about it right here. I'm sorry. Hey, get away from me. Yes. <laughs> can't believe you just got in my face like that. You're going to learn the hard way, buddy. Uh, hang on a second. Just have to cut to something. Do you still want to tell me who you are? So, yeah, uh, I will gladly tell you who, who I am. Back up. But. It's just a little too close. Up. It's personal space, you know? Well, you're recording them. Right. From back here? Yeah, so where are you from? I'm not telling you that. Listen, they're probably waiting for me in there, so I'm going to go back in there since you're refusing to tell me who you are. Got it? All right, cool. I'm glad to talk to you, but you won't tell me who you are. Dude, I'm, I'm right here. Step back. I've got the right to stand where I want to stand. Oh, really? In my I, face, you I do? do. Sure, in my you face, you got to stand right, stand right. Okay. Well, I then we'll just cozy up, buddy. I just don't want we'll you just to cozy up. I just don't want you. Well, to right, we'll cozy up. Since you don't want to give me my personal space, we'll just cozy right up, won't we? Let's go outside and talk. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Grab your stuff. And no, I'm good. I'm good. You don't want to talk with me? Yeah, I do. Yeah, from a up. from a from a distance. You're not getting in my face like you just did. I'm not getting in your face. I'm standing here talking to you like two gentlemen. This is a normal converse, a distance, normal com distance to have a conversation with a perfect right. stranger. You, that's what you think, huh? Sure. Okay. All right. Is this what why, normal to anyone else? Why is this? Why is this bothering you? Because you're you're eight inches from my face. That's why. Good. I'm about to clear my personal space if you don't move. Are you threatening me? No, I just told you I'm about to clear my personal space if you don't move. I'm asking you to not record. Okay, great. You can ask and me all you want. want to clear your you personal space, all you want. go ahead and clear your personal space. Now I'll just let you to continue to uh, to assault me. How am I assaulting you? Do you know the definition of assault? Let's say you're criminal investigation. So I'd assume that you know the statutes very well. I do. Do you know what third degree assault is? I do. Placing someone in uh, uncomfortable or or uh, offensive 
offensive situation. Like it's exactly what you're doing right like now. Like you're doing to all these people here? By by recording in a public building? Sure. That doesn't count. Listen. Well, Why doesn't it count? Does step it? back. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna move you if you don't step back from me right now. You understand? I'm gonna stand here while you're doing the transaction because move, move back. This is a normal space for, for somebody to be. So so stop moving towards me. Okay. You will I'm not take put that your hands threat. on me again. Really? Okay. All right. Step up. Right. See what happens. Stop. Move back. You're recording yourself assaulting me. I'm recording. Look, I'm back into a corner here, and you won't stay back from me. So just stay right where I'm, you're at, I'm and we'll be a cool. Conversation. All right. All right, we're in the conversation. Now we all know at this point that the Department of Revenue is a government building which is funded by the public. That means it is public property and is subject to being filmed. It's ridiculous at this point how these public servants are not taught or even briefed about the possibility of being recorded while they're in the course of their duty. Regardless, this lady seemed fine until she confirmed with this auditor if he was recording or not, which prompted Chief Elders to confront the auditor. If you're working at some capacity within law enforcement, then it is definitely in your policy to identify when requested by the public. The reason this is a thing is because it is a crime to impersonate an officer. So whether Leos like it or not, they must identify. Obviously, Elders plays by his own set of rules and thinks it is smart to swipe at the camera and get in another man's face to tell him to stop exercising his First Amendment right to freedom of press. Now, do I fully agree with this auditor pushing Elders back? No, because as you're going to see coming up, Elders uses it to his advantage and gets the officer to back him up. Do you still have a name? I do. Okay. So you witnessed him put his hands on me? Huh? You witnessed him just put his hands on me? I did not. I do want him arrested for assault. He just pushed me back. He's eight inches from my face. I, I have asked, a, I have the right to clear my space, especially whenever I'm when I'm tucked into a backed into a corner like this. You leave, so. What's your name, sir? Sergeant Patterson. Patterson. Did you get your business done with the no, state? No, I don't. I'm still still working on it. Okay, but he yeah. put his phone down. To do Cause that. I don't need to, and you know that. Yeah, I do know. That. Yeah, but you, know that. you can't touch him, man. Well, if if I got in your face, if I got literally six inches from your face right now, you would have the right to remove yourself. I was standing right here. Right. Yeah, okay. You do know this is all on video, right? I do. Okay. I do. So you're going to sit here and, and lie to me. We can have a copy of it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> if you want. And it's on video of you putting your fingers right to my face and telling me to step back. Yes, because you're, you're still too close me. to me. And you're way I further away than you were whenever you, before, when you so were you six inches from my again? face. If you, if you, if you approach me the way you did, yes, absolutely. I have the right to defend myself just like you do. So, well, you, you don't have the right to put your hands on me. Yes, I do. When you get in my face, no, I absolutely don't. do. You want to bet? I do. Try it again. I'm right here. Okay, and, and this is cool. But you step close, you step up to me like you did, and yeah, I'm going to move you again. Do you understand that? It's amazing Was that you're I in criminal closer? investigations. So I was the same distance. Nobody, you don't need to get a jury going here. It's all on video, okay? I know it's These people video. are here to do their business like I am. Right. And I don't know, I don't know why you need, think but, you need to bring them but in. But they're not it. causing this kind of an issue, are they? Yeah, you are. No, I don't think I am. Okay, are we done now? No, because you I've just, asked you, you just can't, carry on. I've asked just you that you can't go record. Away from me. Okay, but I, you still want to record. Okay, well, that's not your decision to make. Okay. Well, it's, we can't it's not. recording with. Uh, it's not the private the private information we have. Private information should be protected. If it's not, that's their responsibility. Right. Not mine. I'm so in public. I'm, I'm doing? in public public property. So what transaction public are you doing? Accessible areas. It's not your business. What's you can ask them if you want. No, it's not. Are you renewing a plate or? All right. Are you, are we done here? No, because you put your hands on me and I want to press charges for that. Then do it. Hey, here we go. All right, out of statement. Okay. Can we come out here and talk, please? Well, they've still got. Uh, we're. I'm still trying to get this done. You know, if we can talk when I'm done, absolutely. That'd be that'd be fine with me. Okay. Now I have to investigate whether or not you assaulted someone or not. Right. So I have to get everybody's okay. statement and story on this. I got a lot of witnesses. You mm -hmm. got a video, mm -hmm. right? Okay. So, um, I'm not sure what you're attempting to accomplish well, today. Part of the reason I'm I'm even recording in the first place because I've been trying to conduct my business with DOR with the phone. They hang up on me. They don't call me back for two weeks. I finally get a hold of them, and they hang up on me. You know. So this is the only way I can provide any kind of accountability is by capturing, having video evidence of the whole the whole encounter. 
Okay. It's a pretty reasonable, reasonable thing, right? I suppose so, but okay. Um, I still am not sure that. Do you feel like it's accomplished now with what you've got going? What's accomplished exactly? That your business. Well, I don't know because I haven't had a chance to, to talk to these to, to this lady about I don't know where. He's I probably got something to tell me. But. Probably been easier just to attempt to, to do it. First Listen, I don't care. It's then. not. It's not your responsibility. What's easier for me? Okay, you can. You can uh, pontificate about that till the cows come home. Oh, really? Okay. All right. Actually, he's the one that assaulted me. Yeah, you should know him. this. You should know this as a police officer. I don't care if I, if you don't have to touch somebody. To I don't assault have fourth them. degree assault. There you go. Sense. There you go. Okay, and you can do that without touching someone. If you get inches from someone's face, that's assault. That's assault, especially when they're backed into a corner like I am right now. That's assault. So, yeah, go ahead. Hook him up. I'd you're not, not, you're not going to? to jail. Oh, well, if you are, you're taking him. Because I put my hands on you? No, because you assaulted me first. How did I, I have the you? right to defend myself. I How did you, you? Can, can you explain to him what fourth degree assault is? Yes. He apparently doesn't know. Seriously. Can you explain what third degree assault is? I, I just did. Also, I'm, I'm not the law enforcement. Me I'm not around. the law enforcement officer. Yeah, that's called self-defense. Hate to break it to you. Hate to break it to you, buddy. And it's, a, it's shocking that you're that ignorant of the law. It really is. I'm not. Some people are, but I'm not. <laughs> you're demonstrating your ignorance right. of the law right now. Can you? I mean, uh, can you explain to him fourth degree assault, the concept of that, and the concept of self-defense? And if I if I were to approach you, especially if you're backed into a corner like I am right now, you've got inches from your face, I would expect you to defend yourself. Right? I would, and that's exactly what I did. So I'm sorry this is this is so difficult for you, especially you. But what are you gonna do? Well I know at this I point I'm 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 I would like to officially and formally like charge 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 him with uh, assault. I'm a complaining witness, willing to take to, to write a statement, but I am I am charging him with assault. Well, you do what you have to do, but I I've will. got witnesses out here. Okay, great. And I got video. Right. All right. And that video will show what we're talking about. It sure will. Right. Are you going to go away now? I'm not going away until this officer, we have a talk with you and we can talk outside. I told you we could talk outside, but you don't want to do that. Yeah, well, obviously. I'm here trying to get my business done. Is it almost done, man? I don't know. Um, I have eight transactions to run. He's technically only allowed to run five at the window at a time, but I will be happy to move these back to my desk because I am not going to be recorded on your phone. I feel very no, uncomfortable. I'm sorry. You're invading my privacy and my you have personal no right space. To privacy in I have so every right as a human. You have no right to, to be privacy in public. We can, can bring those transactions yeah, I will be moving this back to my desk we'll because I refuse to be recorded. That's for all tolerance you when I get these done, okay? I'm, yeah, I'm obviously going to need those back. Can I press charge on him? Yeah, sure. So can we talk outside in the hallway, away from yeah. the public? Can we just go out there, man? I'm not trying to. Listen, I don't want to arrest anybody. I, I appreciate I just you want being. Us to go I appreciate you being smoothly. respectful. Um, and I guess as, as long as they're working on my stuff, I would, if, if I was her, her stuff, I wouldn't you, want to be filmed. Either. Right. Well, I, right. I understand, but okay. if, if you were me, I don't even want you, to be. You would also. Right now. I understand. You would also like to be for them to actually do their job. And she provide you like with the public service. And every time well, she I've may come be now. Here, she may be now. I, but you don't. You don't know what's. You don't know the, the issues I've been dealing with in the past. It's okay. been going on two months now. I've been trying to get this taken care of. Okay. And frankly, they're just people in the OR that don't want to do their jobs. So that's probably everywhere, man. It is to a certain extent. It seems to be a recurring pattern over here. So I'll keep my uh, opinions about all that. To so can we sure. Talk about sure. Can no, just I'm, go out there, I'm, right? I'm good. I'm good right now. We'll see what, what becomes of this and before I'm done. You know, I waited a long time just to get to the window. So I'm not right. just going to walk I away. That, man. I got to wait, too, just like everybody right. else They're being processed right. now. Right. Well, they haven't been processed. I need to talk to her, figure out where I stand. Hey, does this guy have a name? He's refusing to identify himself to me. You haven't told me your name. We, we've I, asked don't, you I don't need to. I don't need to. I'm not the law enforcement officer in this situation. Yes, I do. Well, yes, you're all right, and I will, and I will. But not to him right now. Well, I know that you put your hands on me two times. Okay. And shoved me back. Okay. And so what are you going to do about it? I'm, I'm telling the Capitol Police officer. So what are you going to do about assaulted. it? Well, I'm trying to determine who started what and why. Okay. 
I find that I'd be I'd be happy to this was preventable and that's why yeah. I, it was um, yeah if you just attempted to do it the right way first if I, he's the one that approached me <laughs> that's because she didn't like me what, what makes you think I didn't attempt to do it the right way quote unquote the right way first I don't know you didn't because I, I just got done telling you I've been trying to handle this for months you sit over the phone and over the phone yes Whenever you get hung up on, in. when you get hung up on, you don't have much of a choice than to come in person. Correct. Right? I agree with right. that. That's okay. what I meant. Did you just try that's to what come I'm doing. in here and do it? That's what I'm doing now. Her. That's what I'm doing now. If you hadn't upset her, well, you, you know what? If if I don't if I don't have the, the experience documented, then it's my word against hers. I get that. And I, I want accountability. Period. That's not Can unreasonable. You ask, her? ask her what. Hey, can I film this so that we have you know, if she'd, be surprised what here, he here's the deal. if you just ask him. If she'd have been nice about it, if she'd have asked me, you know, uh, uh, nicely, person from one person to another, I said, yeah, sure, you know what? Um, who knows if this is even going anywhere, but if it does, I'll, I'll blow your face out. And that, which is a courtesy that I don't have to do, right? Right. That she'd have been nice to me about it. I was, otherwise, she's in public, I'm in public. You have no right to yeah, I know, question. I know how it works. Yeah, you know how that works. You know how that works. So there you go. That's where we're at. So what do you want to do? Otherwise, I'm just going to. I'm just going to go have a conversation gonna, with you. Without and that's fine. But like I said, I'm not. I'm not giving up my. Obviously, I'm not giving up my seat at the window. Because I've, I I I've literally waited, I've waited for months to deal with this. Does she right? have everything that you? I don't know. I don't know. Because, I mean, did you I mean, give her all your no. paperwork uh, for all your transactions? No. Okay. Still don't have a name, huh? I do have a name. Okay. And you, is, it, you, is it your policy by chance to identify you yourself when a member of the public requests it? You apparently don't have a name. I bet you it is. You don't have a name. I don't have the responsibility to give you my name. Do I? You know, you should know that. Are you that ignorant of the law, really? Yes or no question? I, I'm not. Okay. So does a member of the public have to identify themselves on request by a member of law enforcement? Do so that? Gonna, yes or no? Are we going to talk about the Yes or no? With this individual? We can talk about, you can talk about, we can talk about you assaulting me all you want. We need to go all you want. Talk about yeah, come on. No, you're good. I'm good. I mean, I'm good. Yeah, good idea. Sergeant's a little more... A little more. So watch the video. Okay. Their video. Obviously, okay. I haven't seen your video. Right. Right. Uh, that does not look too good for you, sir. Okay. Um, All right. Because uh, he's never really moved from this spot that's, right that's here. That's a lie. You need to watch you know, the video I again. Got I, I got it right here. I know, and I got a witness too. It says that uh, he never got up in your face. So I don't care. There's video. Okay. Well, you know? you're under arrest. No. For, okay. For fourth degree assault. So. Okay. You're gonna have to put your phone down. And, uh, can I can I figure out what's going on with my transaction here? In the mail and oh, seven to ten business days. It's cool. All done. Now, earlier you said something about five. Is there five or um, eight? It'll be. There were eight total. There were eight. Okay. We should have eight receipts there. All of them have been received. I just want to make sure. Last time I got those letters, I did the same process and got those letters. Right. They were rejected in error. Right. All of the okay. rejects have been fixed. Perfect. Everything is cleared up. You'll get your titles in the mail in five to seven business days. Perfect. Thank you so much. Okay. All right. All right. You ready to go? You're putting me under arrest. Yes, sir. Yes. Oh, great. Just like I said, Elders got Patterson to arrest this man all because he said he assaulted him. Yet, if we're going off the entirety of the video, Elders tries to swipe at the camera first and was the one to get in this man's face. There's obviously an argument here whether it was self-defense or not, but I am not an attorney and anything I say should not be taken as legal advice. This man was there to get his titles for the motors he purchased and after being left held to dry and ignored, he took it upon himself to conduct a First Amendment audit to hold these public officials accountable. Regardless of all the extra stuff with Chief Elders and Supervisor Patterson, he accomplished what he needed to get done. Because as you heard the clerk, when she handed him his stuff back, the application for their titles were rejected in error, which means that the Department of Revenue were in fact originally wrong in rejecting him, and they didn't do anything to correct it, until he came here with a camera. This is how you utilize your rights to your advantage and how you hold your public officials accountable. Big props to Mr. Austin for holding these officials accountable and for this awesome video. Be sure you all head on over to his channel, subscribe, and let him know San Joaquin Jr. sent you. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you all for watching. First Amendment rights, I'ma speak my mind.
I don't care about how you feel, cause I'm living mine Paid them tax dollars, I put in some overtime I keep my camera rolling, I don't believe it was a crime We caught watch, watch us hold them accountable, they ain't about nothing Cause we be standing our ground and we is not running And this is all real life, so learn a lot from it God watch God watch God watch God watch God watch